A little before noon, as the leaders of India and China were engaged in hectic diplomacy, a flash mob of Tibetan protesters took over the streets outside Hyderabad House. Twenty odd protesters, mostly girls, arrived in autos and unfurled Tibetan flags and banners in protest. The Delhi police cracked down, but questions were raised about whether this was by accident or by design. Tibetans protesting the visit of the Chinese president to India all across the capital. But the real Tibet shock for Beijing came just 20 feet from where Modi met Jinping. The flash mob of Tibetan protesters outside Delhi's Hyderabad house took the cops by surprise. The angry protest triggering an aggressive crackdown. The protesters dragged away, packed in buses and the media caught in the crossfire. These are young girls, about two dozen in number, but they, they carry placards and shouting slogans, we want justice, we want justice. You, you can... Very... But how did the protesters get so close to the talks venue? How did they breach security cordons and take everyone by surprise? There was a three-tire security in place. The CRPF and the RAF made the outer ring. The middle ring formed by the Delhi police and the SPG making up the innermost ring. But the usual drill of blocking all approaches wasn't followed. The protesters arrived in three autos and an Innova and managed to get menacingly close to the Hyderabad house gate. And almost in sync, hundreds of kilometers away in Mumbai, the Dalai Lama spoke, giving some polite advice to China. I think different Xi Jinping's thinking, more realistic, more open-minded, so he can learn more things from India. And after all, sino indian relation on the basis of mutual trust is very important. And inside Hyderabad House, Modi did some plain talking about the border incursions. This is unprecedented that Hyderabad House uh, can actually have Tibetans at the gate while the president is inside. So clearly there is some degree of, uh, well, message that has been sent to not be too harsh and allow. I mean, maybe this is the Modi style message that is going out. We've never seen them come that close to Hyderabad House in the past. They used to be around the Chinese embassy. Yes, Hello. if the police wanted to keep them away, they would have Hello. had barricades all the way down Ashok Road. Uh, there's no way they could have intruded. So there is some degree of uh, some relaxation allowed to them. In the past, like during Chinese Premier Li Kang's 2013 visit, India went out of the way to keep Tibetan protesters locked in the attic. But maybe the Modi Sarkar didn't try hard enough to keep Asia's big bully in good humour. It only appeared cracking down harshly on democratic protests. But given how twitchy China is about Tibet, the message, even if unintended, must have hit home. Bureau report, headlines today.